I'm going to attempt to recreate a phenomena that I encountered in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas while playing it uh, a few weeks back. I love playing the Grand Theft Auto series uh, San Andreas, although it's not the most recent. It's still my favorite of the, uh, of the entire Grand Theft Auto series. I have my Xbox set up here in the living room. Uh, I'll, sh I'll turn the camera around and we can see the gameplay. Uh, anyway, this phenomena is what I like to call UFO tank. And it involves using uh, about six or seven codes in conjunction with each other. And uh, I have all of my codes on this code sheet. Uh, I made this code sheet by copying pages out of a out of my magazines whenever the game first came out in my senior year of high school. So it's got the PlayStation 2 uh, the PlayStation 2 uh, keys buttons on it, but I know how to translate the PlayStation 2 codes into Xbox codes. Uh, and if you don't know about that, let, let me tell you. Uh, okay, let's let's see a code here. Um, well, one of the ones I'm going to be using is the uh, lock wanted level code, which is circle right, circle right, left square triangle up. Uh, what that is, that is circle. I mean, uh, that is B right, B right, left. X, Y, up. So, circle is B, square is X, triangle is Y. The X on a PlayStation 2 controller is the A button on the Xbox controller. The L1 and R1 are the shoulder buttons here. L2 and R2 are the black and white buttons. And then we have L3 and R3, which are the control sticks. Just about everything else is the same. So if you know the controller with one hand, you should know the controller with the other hand. It, it's not that hard to, like, uh, to, to change. To translate the codes. And honestly, I'm not good at reading Xbox codes, so I just keep the PlayStation 2 code sheet that I made uh, like five years ago. This is uh, my MSACS, which stands for Master San Andreas Code Sheet. It has all of the codes on it. Uh, it's kind of worn over the years, but uh, this is my original, which I keep in the case of the game. Uh, like I said, we're going to be doing this on the Xbox version, which I think is superior to the PlayStation 2 version. Uh, I'm not going to be playing my PlayStation 2 version ever again because it is, in fact, a first edition game, meaning that uh, given the proper uh, situation, the proper uh, equipment, hot coffee can be accessed in my PlayStation 2 uh, San Andreas game. I have that locked away. So, we're doing this on my Xbox San Andreas. Alright, well, the codes that I am going to be using, uh, I'll read them off here. Like I said, I'm going to be using the lock wanted level. That's one of them. That is actually a key to it, because otherwise, if you don't use the lock wanted level, well, you could like go through this without the wa without the lock wanted level but uh, I prefer to do it with the lock wanted level because I don't like getting six stars as soon as I walk into the area 51 base uh, where they have a couple tanks in there and that's where I'm going to be stealing my tank from I don't use the tank code uh, and I don't have any tanks stored in any of my garages Alright, my recommended code set for this. We're going to be using the fast game clock. We're going to be using the fast gameplay code. And we're entering that three times to get the maximum effect 
Uh, we will also be using the invulnerability on vehicles code. Uh, recommended to use the infinite lung capacity code just in case you hit the water and you start sinking. Eventually you can get out of the water by just firing the turret on the on the on the tank. But anyway, uh, let's see what are what are, what's the other code? Um, lock wanted level, fast clock, fast game, infinite lung capacity. Um, just in case you could put on the uh, all cars float on water. Just a thought. I'm probably going to put it on just in case I get stranded out in the middle of the water. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, let's turn the camera around here so you can see my gameplay. And my game just loaded while we were sitting here. So, like I said, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to focus it on the TV. And then I'm going to get my get a vehicle, enter my codes, head to Area 51, and uh, we will encounter the flying tank, the UFO tank phenomenon that I encountered a while back. Okay? As you see, that's my television out in the living room. Well, it's not my television, that's my mom's television. It's out in the living room, but uh, let's see if we can't sort of focus on it. Alright, uh, I apologize for the somewhat darkness of the top of the screen on the TV because, uh, like I said, this is on the TV, it's not a direct video, so there is like RF interference, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, I have a taxi now, I'm going to, I'm going to drive as close to Area 51 as I can right now. Change the radio here. Ah, my track light. The Xbox version, you can actually upload your own personal soundtracks to the Xbox. Uh, all of the MP3s that you upload to the Xbox, you can use with various games. The only game I really use them with is this. Because I, I like a variety of different things to listen to, and I kind of got tired of listening to the standard radio stations in the game. So I have a comedy station I created on this thing, uh, heavy metal, 80s, Frank Sinatra, um, intermission style stuff, which is like a minute or so long. So I've got a lot of stuff. And I don't even know how much space I've used on my Xbox. Uh, I'll get back to you whenever we get back to Area 51. Right now, uh, I need to plug my camera. So, I'll see you in part two.